Man, it looks like it's going to be year of the quarterback again in this league. And just yeah. so many guys that came back, Slovis transferring in, a couple of really marquee names in the ACC. And we've asked this to every guest that's come on, who is your quarterback one in the ACC going into 22? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's, a, that's You're right. There's just so many talented guys. Even with Slovis coming over from, from Pitt after – the last year that, that Pickett had. Uh, I love Malik Cunningham at, at Louisville. You know, he's a guy that has really become dangerous as a passer, not just not just running the way he was early in his career. Um, I think Devin Leary has a chance to, ha- to have a monster year. He's kind of a, a guy that when you bring up all the names, he tends to, and I think them as a program, they play with a chip on their shoulder. They like to be disrespected. And he kind of embodies that. Um, you know, I, I don't know this year, maybe he'll get more attention. He, he should. Um, but I would put him up there. The kid at Miami after Dear King went down, Tyler Van Dyke, he's, he's got a chance and he's got a lot of weapons. He's got Josh Gaddis now as his offensive coordinator. I think he has a chance to, to really be big. No one ever talks about Brennan Armstrong at UVA and he was as good as any of them last year. Um, and then I think, Sam Hartman, you know, I mean, it, it wake. I would probably le- – it's between, for me, Leary and Hartman, If it, just okay. as we sit here right now. Um, and I think it has more to do with the the known commodities of the system, who's calling the plays. You know, with Van Dyke, he's going to have to adjust to a new coaching staff. And and I, he still could have a monster year. But I think as we sit here in the summer, I would, I would lean towards Hartman and – and Leary, and I think both those teams have a chance to have great years. 